everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make a swivel makeup compact. I made mine to hold blush, but you can make it hold whatever you want. Eyeshadow or highlighter, bronzer, even just a mirror. One of my favorite things is that it snaps back in place when you close it because it's magnetic, which is really nice. It holds it closed so it won't accidentally fly open or it shouldn't. And I decorated mine to look like one of Sailor Moon's compacts, but again, you can do whatever you want, any kind of design or shape really. So let's get started. To make this compact, you'll need a pan of makeup, whatever kind you like. As I mentioned before, I did blush. You could also just do a mirror instead. Foam core, binder screw posts. I got 3 eighths of an inch posts. I'll leave a link to the ones that I got down below. Thin, non-corrugated cardboard, like book board or mat board. I actually used the board from the back of the spiral notebook. An X-Acto knife, small magnets, glue, I'm using Mod Podge, colorful paper, and decorative elements. I used gold puffy paint and stick-on little jewel things. First, I had to prepare a pan of makeup. You can buy empty ones online, but I had just finished some translucent powder. So I took that pan out, I cleaned it, sanitized it, all that good stuff, and then I was ready to press some makeup into it. I originally wanted to make this compact because I have this blush that I used in a previous project, which you may remember, the DIY rose petal blush. But it's all broken, so I wanted something cute to repot it into. So initially I thought there was a lot more blush in this, but this bottom bit that looks like it's blush is actually a ceramic disc that the blush was pressed into. So to make up for not having enough blush to fill the pan, I mixed in a little bit of some broken highlighter that I had. Anyway, I did the normal smashing it into powder, mixing it with alcohol, letting it dry out, and then pressing it in order to flatten and compress the makeup. Alternatively, you could just depot some makeup that you already have. So now, it's time to make the compact. Trace your desired shape onto the foam core. You want it to be bigger than your makeup pan is, with edges that are big enough to accommodate your magnets and the binder screw. Cut two of these pieces out. I'd also suggest cutting two pieces of the cardboard to this size right now as well. I did it later in the project, and it was kind of a pain in the ass. Anyway, figure out where you're going to place the binder screw, mark it, and then cut a hole into the foam core the same size as the shaft of your binder screw. I used a drill bit that was the right size, but you could totally just cut them out with an X-Acto knife. Stick the binder screw in, figure out where you want to place your makeup pan, and trace it. You should also trace the heads of the binder screws at this point. Take it apart and cut out the pan part completely. Then go in and score the binder head marks that you made. Do not cut these all the way through, you just want to cut through the first layer of paper, and then push it in a tiny bit. This makes a little recessed area where the head of the binder screw post can sink into. Trace one of the magnets somewhere along the edge. Cut this out, again just through the first layer of paper, but this time peel that layer of paper off. Stick the magnet in and push it in completely. Put the pieces together using the binder screw to hold it in place and stick another magnet onto the other side. It should be held in place by the first magnet. Trace around the second magnet and then repeat the steps from the first one. I actually ended up doing another magnet on the other side too for extra security. I was initially only going to do one magnet at the very bottom, but I didn't feel like I gave myself enough room at the bottom, so that's why I ended up doing it on the side. Take everything apart again. Trace your foam core shapes onto your paper four times, and on two of them, extend the shape about half an inch, and then cut them all out. On the sides of the foam that aren't cut into, apply glue and stick them onto the bigger paper pieces. You can see that I accidentally glued the paper to the wrong side of this piece. Once those are dry, use your X-Acto knife to cut around and make little fringy bits around the edge, and cut this inner part into thin pie wedges like so. Cut the holes for the binder screw posts and stick those back in and secure them in place. The sides of the foam core that have the paper glued on should be the ones that are touching. Glue down the cardboard pieces onto the backs of the foam core which will hide and secure the screw post and the magnets. Now go around and apply glue around the edges and fold the fringy bits up, holding them in place while it dries. I found that this took quite a while. 
I almost just whipped out my hot glue gun to glue the edges down and have them stick way faster, but instead I just held it and rewatched part of an episode of Stranger Things with my husband, who was watching it for the first time. Anyway, once that's dry, fold the rest of the fringe bits over onto the face of the foam core and then glue them down. I pressed this under a heavy book while it dried. I went in and trimmed a little bit of the end of the pie wedge pieces before continuing on, but that's probably not really that necessary, I just felt like I needed to. Anyway, apply glue to the edge and bottom here, and then push these little fringy pie wedge pieces down into this part. Take the smaller paper pieces and glue these to the outer faces of the compact. I pressed this under a book again as it dried. To do the Sailor Moon decoration, I made a star template on some scrap paper and then I traced that onto the compact, making sure the top of the star lined up to the point where it swivels open. I cut a circle from the star template piece and then traced that into the middle of the star. Then I went through and using a reference from online, I lightly drew the design. I traced the design with gold puffy paint. And for the jewel bits, I drew a little circle and then squirted a tiny dot into the middle and placed the jewelry in while it was still wet. Once the puffy paint was pretty much dry, I went back and added another layer to make the moon shape in the middle. Then, once everything's dry, all that's left to do is to stick the makeup pan in. The pan fit very snugly for me, so I didn't feel like I needed to secure it in any other way. But if you feel like it, you could hold it in place with glue or magnets or something like that. And now the compact is done. I'm so happy with how this turned out. It's pretty much exactly what I set out to make, which is really nice. And because of the magnets, it snaps closed in the most satisfying way. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a like. And if you wanna see more, then feel free to subscribe. I post art videos every Tuesday and DIY videos every Thursday. Thank you to my patrons who helped me produce this video. If you're interested in learning about becoming a patron, then click right here and it'll take you to mine and you can read up all about it. You can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Pinterest, or Snapchat, and I'll leave the information to those down below. If you end up making any of my projects, then feel free to show them off using the hashtag CheslinDIY. I'd love to see them, and I'm sure the community would love to see them as well. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment down below, and I'll see you next week.